Guy here with the new mod test for Farming Simulator 22 and this is the man TGS Agro Pack by Virtual Farming and Dirch Modification. It is 19.39 megabytes to download. It is for all platforms, PC, Mac, a PS, a P PlayStation and Xbox, so all platforms. 17 slots on console each. It's a pack of two trucks. And we'll find them under trucks. And here they are, two, the 18 series and the 26 series. We'll look at the 18 series up to 510 horsepower, 400 liters of fuel, 37 miles per hour. That is, there is a caveat on that. We'll talk about that in a moment. 9.2 tons and as, as I said, 17 slots. Configurations are weights, standard, which means none. We have one at the front, two at the back, or front and back. So how much weight is added? Uh, let's see, 9.2, so to 400 kilograms. 9.2, 800 kilograms from the back, so 1,200 kilograms total for both. And um, engines. Okay, so here's where the interesting part comes. We have 400 horsepower and the agricultural motor setup, which limits you to 37 miles per hour. Now, if you go to the normal, uh, it actually changes your speed limit. We'll talk about that in a moment too, but just that's the difference between the agricultural engine and the normal engine so we go 440 agricultural normal 460 agri or normal 480 agri normal and 500 agri normal 510 agri normal so 510 is the most agricultural is going to be limited to 37 miles per hour if you go with the normal engine setup it will be 50 miles per hour as we will talk about I said in a moment, or show you at least. We talked about it. We'll show you in a moment. BKT Wheel Brands, uh, Continental Trailberg Lizard. So the only ones you can, okay, so you can chain BKT. You have a couple of styles a wide Continental, a couple of styles. Trailberg, we have a couple of styles. And Lizard are the only road tire that I can see. Well, strictly road tire. So with all the others, a uh, thousand bucks. Yeah, you're looking at about a thousand bucks to change up the tires. Not too bad. Uh, warning signs. Uh, no or one, two, two, one and two. Uh, designs. You can design your design. Line design. Uh, truck tat. Tattoo and man design. So 800 bucks for the design. Warning signs big. Uh, no, three, four, three, and four. So you can uh, you can light it up with the warning signs if you want. Uh, fender designs is the all plastic or a plastic metal combination. Main color we have uh, several. Um, shall we say man specific colors we have your the your green that's we always know the petrol and then into the whites and grays oh there is also a black yellow uh what's a yellow neon that's pretty neonish yellow if you really want to go safe um and then of course all your other colors uh three grand for the Giants color palette, or let's see, where does it stop? At the yellow, I think. Yeah. So any any color up to the yellow is only 300 bucks, except for the one that you get right off the bat. And design color, I think that's the same. Zero dollars, zero dollars until you get to, oh. No, no charge for the lower color design change. Hmm, all right. And then rim colors, let's see. Will it charge us for rim colors? 300 bucks if you go with a Giants color palette or zero dollars for the first three anyways. Right. 
and then a license plate. Um, now, if we go over to the uh, 26 series, $180,000, everything's pretty much the same. Yes, the Man Series uh, 18 is an automatic transmission. I'm not sure why they omitted that. 400 liters of fuel. Yeah, everything looks, this. it's a little heavier because it's a three axle. So an extra two wheels at the back. Uh, we also have these the weight choices um, the same choices for engine actually 480 uh, so you start with 480 and you go to 500 or 510 with the agri or uh, agricultural or normal engine right uh, wheel brands are going to be the same choices warning signs yeah everything else is the same colors everything else uh, just it's a uh, the engine choices are a little different and you get extra two wheels at the back all right let's hop in interior very nice typical uh, man design if we hop out options are l1 l1 and right stick left and right you can tuck in your uh, steps uh, the only other option you have is L1 and R1 and right stick up and down opens and closes your sunroof so um, a few nice options but not not overwhelming options or configurations or things to do um, there is a hitch on the front it is not a ball hitch it is a pin hitch so for those of you who know what that means the um, front lifter will work on that and put a three-point link on the front of this if you wish the rear will hook up to anything uh, it will be a ball hitch like so or pin hitch like so And they're both like that now how do they oh lights you want to see lights they are well lit and those are all standard beacons signals headlights dash lights up nicely signals indicators on the dash right all right on to the nitty-gritty of it all um oh yes i was going to this one notice this one's at 38 miles per hour right so like you said this is the agricultural um motor and transmission if we hop into here this one's at 50 miles per hour this is the normal transmission right so where there we go so we got one at 50 with the same weight horsepower and weight but the two axle and the agriculture with the three axle and we're going to see how they compare going up this hill so let's let's go ahead and start it off this is the normal with the same trailer with the same load of corn and if you'll stick with me for just a few minutes we're going to traverse this hill that would be very not unusual to go up a hill grade like this with a load of corn uh, like this so it's pretty realistic scenario I didn't fill it with rocks I didn't go up the steepest hill to, to try and break it um, I thought I'd go kind of hey let's see what it would kind of do in a real situation because I know there's plenty of trucks out there that would just stall out halfway up this hill and just not not go and he's having a bit of a tough time coming up this top but I think he's gonna make it now do tires make a difference and all that sort of stuff the, would a weight on the front well it might have just weighted it down if you're going up now these are designed you can use them in the field pulling whatsoever perhaps a slurry tanker or something thus the weights that are available for traction and looks like we're gonna make it right so pretty good not the fastest um 
going up that hill but uh, very nice now let's uh, pop over to this one and away we go this remember is the agricultural with a 38 mile per hour top speed let's see if it's maybe a little bit torquier they're both automatic transmissions and we'll just see if the um, traction and the um, the lower top speed helps uh, with it climbing up this hill or not so far it looks pretty much the same I'm gonna say yeah we're, 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 we're winding down to the 15 miles per hour that the other one was so I don't think there's a whole lot of difference in the um, hill climbing ability shall we say of each of these and if you wait just a few more hmm, moments we'll test the brakes going down the hill yeah she's gonna make it right you know what we'll just pop over this and we'll go go for a bit of a ride down the hill get her up to top speed and slam on the old binders see how fast she'll stop going oh whoa impressive pretty impressive good good brakes on that thing and there it is that's the man tgs agro pack by virtual farming and dirt modifications or modification 19.39 megabytes to download 17 slots each on console very nice pair of trucks if you like the man trucks and i do actually uh, very nice uh, i'm looney farm guy thank you all for watching and remember it's only a game so till next time bye for now